fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie The wisdom that is hid And treasure that's bound up in chains What profit is it? Right? That's why you gotta come out here and do the work Even if it's just a little bit That's why the Lord said Even the dew assuages the heat Right? So you gotta come out here and do the work regardless Right? Let me get uh, Luke chapter 10 and verse 2 Right? Luke chapter 10 and verse 2 and then let me get 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse number 11. Right? 2 Thessalonians 3 and 11. Luke 10 and 2. Look at Luke chapter 10 and verse number 2. Look it out. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. But the what? But, but the, the laborers, laborers are few. Y'all got a minute for the word? You don't got a minute for the word of God, brother? You got to repent and keep the commandments. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. We're the Israelites, right? Our people got to know these things, right? So the Lord said, and it's, it just made it so manifest, the laborers are few. It's a few brothers over here, but the, but our elders, they don't want to hear the word. Our women, they don't want to hear the word, right. right? They're stubborn, right? I was talking to Eve earlier this week, you know what I'm saying? And she, the same thing like every other Eve. What holds them back from keeping the commandments is worried about what other people think. You worried about what other people are doing, right? Keep reading on on it. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Right, that's what we gotta pray for. More brothers and sisters to wake up. More brothers and sisters to get sealed so we can get the hell out of here, right? right? Brothers are tired of this place. Brothers are literally vexed daily with the conversation of the wicked. Right? Let me get that in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. All right? Bring this up. The book of 2 Thessalonians 3 and 11. Read it up. It reads, For we hear that there are some which walk among this order, working not at all. Hey, sister. One Bible scripture for the most side. Right? You're God's chosen people. You may be an Israelite. You got to repent and keep the commandments. Right, bring this up. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, right. working not at all, but our busybodies. Right, working not at all, but our busybodies. You want to make sure that you're doing the work of the Lord, right? You're busy doing everything else but the work of the Lord. Keep reading. It reads, now them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right. that with quietness they work and eat their own bread right but ye brethren be not weary and well doing what the lord say be, be not, not weary, weary and well doing what do we have to do be, be not, not weary, weary and well doing don't be weary and well doing right the little work that you're putting in it matters right brothers need to squeeze out every last drop of your spirit and energy right and putting it into this truth while the day while, while the uh words of the lord are precious right, right? these are the times where it's precious right let me get that in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse number 1. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 1. You can bring this up. 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. Yeah. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned with them with an overflow, almost like with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that are after should live ungodly. Right. And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right? That's why you got to do the work because brothers are vexed. Right. If you're really vexed in this truth, if you're really vexed with the things going on in this world, you're going to do the work. You're going to keep laboring, right. right? So that the Lord, and you're going to pray that the Lord brings more laborers into, into this harvest, right? Because right? Right. there's going to be a big harvest coming, a big harvest. Brothers want to read the kingdom, tell me not. Right? right. Keep reading. Right. And just, and it's like conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing right. vex his righteous soul. Did what? Vex his, his righteous, righteous soul, soul right? from day to day with their unlawful deeds. With their unlawful deeds, right? The fornication, all the works of the flesh, right? Let's get the Galatians, right? Chapter 5, and start at verse number 19. These are the works of the flesh. Start at verse number 16, actually. Right? These are classes that we haven't brought that out in a while. Right? Bring this up. 
the book of first samuel three and one Pick it up. and the child samuel ministered like it and the child samuel ministered unto the lord before eli and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. What the Lord say? And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Right. There was no open vision. Right. There was no open vision. Right. Where there is no vision, hey, it, things are gonna fail out here. Right. Hey, brother, with the blue shirt. Right. Walking kind of sus. Right. But nonetheless, the word of the Lord is precious in these days. Right. Right. This isn't something. This is like a hidden treasure. Right. There's brothers like we was talking about on the call the other day. These these brothers out here, you gotta remember that you could break down things that other people in the world have no idea about. They have no idea about these mysteries, but the Lord revealed it onto us. But we take it for granted, right? Bring this out in Galatians chapter uh, five, start at verse number 16. Galatians five and 16. Bring it out. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. And these are what? And these are contrary the one to the other. These are contrary one to the other. So you're going to be at war every single day with the flesh. You're going to be at war with your flesh every single day. Right? We make the law weak through our flesh. Right? Let me get that in Romans chapter 8 and verse number 3. Right? Keep reading on this. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Right. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Right. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell ye before, right. as I have told, uh, like as I have also told you in past time, that they which do such things should not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Right. If you do any of these things, moving in the spirit of lasciviousness, that's right. big in Israel, right? You freaking off in the middle of the night, lusting, coveting, right? Envying the other nations and your oppressors, right? Envying the people of this world who prosper in this world, right? Not even realizing that you're envying, envying foolish people. Right. You're looking after the foolish right now. And the only reason that, you, that you're looking at them like that is because they're wearing that pride like a chain. Just like you see them rappers, they have that gold chain on, that big gold chain, and they flex it. That's how they wear pride, right? right? And you see them prospering in their wickedness. Don't envy that, right? right? Let me get uh, Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 4, right? You can bring this up. Book of Romans 8 and 38. Bring it out. Verse 3. Verse 3. And it reads. Uh, you can start at verse 1. Verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Yahweh, right. who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life and Yahweh Shah Mashiach have made me free from the law of sin and death. Right. We need grace. Right? We need grace. All right. Because if, if not, a lot of brothers wouldn't have made it this far. A lot of brothers wouldn't have made it this far, including myself, right? Keep reading on that. For what the law could not do, right? and that it was weak through the flesh. That it was what? It was weak through the flesh, right? Your flesh is weak. Your carnal nature, your flesh is contrary to the spirit. You're always gonna be fighting against your spirit. Your spirit's always gonna be fighting against the flesh. Your flesh is always going to tell you to be slothful, right? To be prideful, right. right? To be envious, to have hatred and wrath and strife, right? Now realizing that we was never taught these things. We used to teach our children the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. We used to teach them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And they would grow up in these things and be strong, right? But now our people, we wax feeble, right? Over time and through slavery, our people are wax feeble and weak. Right, keep reading. And it reads, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Right. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Right. You got to walk after the spirit. Right. right. You got to have some faith in this thing, man. You got to be walking in the fruits of the spirit. 
understanding the war that we're in every single day. It's deeper than just you versus Esau, right. Jacob versus Esau, or, or Jacob versus Ishmael, or Jacob versus Moab, right? Brothers are, are fighting carnal battles, not realizing that you should be fighting the most important battle, which is that spiritual one. All right. Your flesh versus your spirit, right? Every single day. All right, let's bring this out. Look at Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 10. Look it out. Oh, verse 4. Verse 4. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous. But who was able to stand before envy? But who is what? But who was able to stand before envy? Right. Wrath is cruel, right? And who's able to stand before envy? Why do you think Cain killed Abel? Why do you think Esau hates us so much? Right? Let's get that in Genesis chapter 27 and verse 41. Right? Genesis chapter 27 and verse 41. And let me get 1 John chapter 3 and verse number 12. Look at right? Genesis chapter 27 and 41. Look it out. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing we're with. Because of what? Because, because of the blessing we're with. with. His father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, right? Out of envy. He hated him because of the blessing wherewith he was blessed. They see the way you shine, Israel. They see the way uh, you blacks and Hispanics walk, the way you talk, the way that we uh, even conduct ourselves with our family. How great of a time that we have. And then the police got to show up and ruin everything. They see, oh man, they're having too much fun over here. Now we got to pull up and make up an excuse for all of them to move their cars, right? Make an excuse for all of them to clear up the sidewalk, right? But Esau, he could have a block party. Bounty houses, I mean, all types of madness and wickedness going around, homosexuality, right? Pedophilia going on at the parties. But blacks and Hispanics, we can't get together, right? And the only reason they're pulling up looking for guns because they know we need it. We're in the same hoods in the ghettos where they need their guns and their tasers and, and their batons too, right? We're in this, we're driving through the same hoods, but we don't got no bulletproof vests, right. right? We don't got no protection. We can't call for backup, right? right? And the Lord isn't even with our people because we keep sinning. Right. We're in iniquity. So all of that mixed together, I mean, there, there, goes, uh, there goes our block party, right? So, hey, they envy us because of the blessing we're with, we were blessed. Right. Right? Bring us out. Look at First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Uh, verse 12. Verse 12. Now, as Cain, who was of that wicked wicked one, right. and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil. Hey, brother. Brother, walking in the street. Hey, brother, brother, hit, brother. In the green sweater, walking in the street. Right? That was very sus, right? We don't know what's going on out here with our people. You can't tell if it's a man or a woman sometimes. Right. You can't tell if he's straight, if he's bi. We don't know what's going on out here. It's just like Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Right, keep reading. Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. If they don't have a single good bone in their body. Right. If the wicked go estranged from the womb, and these people are violent on the earth and they were never good in the first place. What do you think they're thinking about us? Right. They can't help but to see us uh, prosper even at our lowest state, right? You're doing better than them on the court. I mean, he damn near want to fight you, right? You hem them up on the field and now it's a fight again, right? right? These people, they envy you of, of all your talent and your greatness. But guess what? They're going to use it against you, right? They're going to use it for evil. That's why you have these Jewish people owning all these record labels. Right? The so-called white man got his hand in all this in, in the music industry. Right? Keep reading on that. 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. Right? Marvel not if the world hates you, read on. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Right? Because we love the brethren. Because we what? We, we love, love the, the brethren. brethren. Right. You have to love the brethren. Right? You got to look out for your brethren. Like I was saying, we're at spiritual war out here. Right. You got to check on your brother, make sure he not he don't got spirits on him. Right. It can hop on another brother at the camp. It can hop on another brother in the congregation, within your household. Right. Let's get that in uh, uh, Luke chapter twenty-two, starting verse thirty-one. Right. On down. Right. Keep reading on that. He that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, hath sinned. Right. He that loveth not his brother. 
he that loveth not his brethren abideth in death. Right? Because you're not you're not gonna be making sure that you're holding them accountable to the law. Right? Keep reading. Verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. What the Lord say? Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Right? And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Right. Bring this up. Book of Luke 22 and 31. Bring it up. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. What the Lord say? Satan hath desired to have you. Right. That he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that they faith fail not. Right. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Right. Strengthen thy brother when thou art converted. Right. Understanding that Satan actually desires to have you. Satan's not just desiring anybody. Right. Let's get that in Job chapter 2. Bring it up. Verse number 7. Right. Job chapter 2, verse 7. Right. Let's start at verse number 8, actually. Right. Book of Job chapter 2, and verse number 7. Bring it out. You said start at verse what? 8. Verse 8. And he took him a potter to scrape himself with him, and he sat down among the ashes. Yeah, start at verse 6. Verse 6. Oh. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand. Right. But save his life. Start at uh, 5. Verse 5. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. Right. So Satan, he was seeing Job. He said, hey, I mean, he he made it past all this other affliction. He made it past losing everything. I mean, cattle, land, right? Riches, so-called uh, uh, wealth, right? In this world, right? What if I touch his bone? Skin for skin. His bone and his flesh, right? Then surely he's going to curse you, right? Read on. So when Satan forth... You got a minute for the word of God? Hey, how you doing? All right, keep reading. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore, boi sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. Right, so he hit him with sore boils to the sole of his foot all the way unto his crown, Sorry, right? Still dealing with the flesh, right? He's not, he can't touch a spirit like that, right. right? The spirit and the flesh, they contrary. You got a minute for the word of God? One Bible uh, scripture. One Bible verse. No, one Bible verse. I know, I know. I know. It looks Shalom in there. Yo, whoa, sister, whoa, you whoa, can't whoa. say Shalom and you're walking down the street with a pair of pants on. Right. With no hair covering. Right. With no Bible. Right? right? And then you're not going to stop for the word of God, sister? That's an abomination. Walk in abomination according to the eyes of the Most High. And that's pride. Our little sister. That is our sister. No yeah. Let me get Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 3. Right. I think I want verse number 11. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 and verse number 11. Bring it out. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. Right. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. And what? And women mm -hmm. rule over them. Right. We don't understand that the wicked is going to be punished. Right. Our people just think that knowing that your Israel is enough, knowing the Hebrew, right? Greeting your brothers and then running away, right? That is very deceitful. And very evil, if you ask me, right? What type of person does that? Speaking of the uh, the Lashuan Kadash, and then walks away from the servants of the Lord, walks away from the Bible right. on the Sabbath day, right? Roaming around the streets on the street corner, right? Let me get that in Proverbs chapter seven, and verse number ten. All right, keep reading, brother. Brother, we got one Bible scripture for you. We got one Bible scripture for you, brother. Right? Come on, brother, one verse. One verse, brother. Right? Let's get this in Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 real quick. Both the ones you got. Brother, come back. Ecclesiastes. Come look at the sign real quick, brother. We just want you to look at the sign. Brother, with the black cat on the blue bike. Right? You got to repent and keep the commandments, kid. All right, let's bring this up. Keep reading on that, on Isaiah. It reads, O oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, right. and destroy the weight of thy paths. Right. 
the Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. Y'all got a minute for the word of God? One, one Bible minute. scripture? One minute, one minute. One Bible scripture, brother. One minute. Somebody's got to be a leader in the last days. Our men don't know how to be men. Our women don't know how to be women, right? Our people are killing each other at a high rate, and who's going to do something about it, right? Nobody's going to do anything about it, right? They see the images. They can walk past these images and still, still know that we're in slavery to this day. They never sent us back home. They never gave us all the plane ticket and the reparations we deserve. Right. They never went back to the damn cliffs of the rocks where they were supposed to come from, right? right? They're still here having you subject to their payments, right? And unlawful decrees, right? Keep reading. That was the one. Come, come. I think I called the wrong one, but it's all good. Bring this up. Proverbs 7. Hey, brother. Brother, check. Brother, you hear us? You hear us? You hear us? No, brother. No smoking. No smoking. No smoking. You from Jamaica? Jamaica is God's chosen people. Look. Look at this, brother. Brother, look at this. Look, West Indies, this is God's chosen people. Brother, God's chosen people. You, God's chosen people. You are. Brother, you're God's chosen people. Man, this is tough. Two ball roll. It's not just guys. Like, you hear us, brother? Yeah, just get ready. Let's get ready, though. Somebody want to help? All right, come. Oh, you see it, brother? Hey, brother. Yeah. Right. You can talk to me when we go live. You gotta kind of use your hands. Right. Here, here. So what? He's very skilled at talking right there. Okay. Okay. But they want you. They want you to read this? No, no. We don't. We don't talk to him. Right. Well, he, he wants to talk. They want to talk to you. Let me so get. Let me get Daniel chapter nine and verse eleven. About. God. About God. We want to talk to you about God. Right. Daniel yeah. chapter 9 and verse 11. It's not my fault we can't take a shower tonight. Look at not my fault we can't take a shower tonight. Look at Daniel. Brother, listen. We have to be there before 10. Look at, uh, look at Daniel 9 and 11. Get out. Yay. Hey. Can somebody open up to Daniel 9 and 11? Daniel 9. Look at it too. Daniel 9 and 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Right. Israel. We are Israel. Right? Look. Daniel 9 and 11. He might have a sword on him. <laughs> he might have a sword on him somewhere. Okay, he's getting his man in the front here. So we're going to go through the precepts with this brother. Right? Let me get Matthew chapter 15 and verse 30. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 30. Real quick while we waiting on him. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 30. And it reads, And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others. And cast them down at Yahweh Shah's feet, and he healed them. And he what? And, and he, he healed, healed them. them. Right. So we are here trying to heal our people. Right? So look at this, brother. Right. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11, right here. Right? Now Israel 
Now all Israel have transgressed thy law. Gotta be patient, man. Look at that Matthew chapter 9 and verse 12. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 12. Look at Matthew chapter 9 and verse number 12. Alright, you see your question? Go ahead, bring it up. But when Yahweh heard, when Yahweh heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. verse 30 yeah. for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves they shall what? they, they shall, shall remember, remember themselves, themselves. Right, let him read it alright Baruch 2 and 30 show right, where is it at? right here God's chosen people. The slaves, they're God's chosen people. All of these, all of these slaves, these people, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? Right? Negroes, God's chosen people. Right. God's chosen people, the Israelites. Right? Israel. West Indies. West Indies. Jamaican. Right. Right? Not not Jamaican, Israel. Okay, you're Israel. Right? So you're you're Israel, brother. Not Jamaican. Right. No Jamaican. Right. Israel. Get that class up. Okay, brother. So look, I'll show you my phone. All right, hold on to this mic. All right. Where's the paper? See this? This is the same. The channel, right? You're gonna go here. You see, brother? You can watch the videos.
subtitles on. See captions. Look, brother. See? You can read it. So you can read that. And he, Genesis 32 and 28 And he said Thy name shall be called no more Jacob But Israel But what? But Israel Right You're no You're not Jamaican No Jamaican Israel Right God's chosen people The Israelites Us Right The slaves We're God's chosen people Of the Bible we're the people of the Bible, right? Let's keep reading on this. For as a prince that has power, has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Right. Jamaicans are the princes of the earth. Jamaicans are princes. They're not just black people. They're not just Negroes. Jamaicans are God's chosen people, right? They're the princes of the earth. They have power with God. Right? You have power with God, brother. Right? Let's get that in Proverbs 11 and 30. Right? Proverbs 11 and 30. Right? You can bring that out again, too. Uh, Matthew 15 and 30. Look at Proverbs. That's your problem. Yeah. I got you. Look at Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Go. Go. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do what? Fear, Fear God, God and, and keep his commandments. Read it again. Fear, Fear God, God and keep his commandments. His commandments. Right? For this is the whole duty of man. Your job, God gave you a job. Keep his commandments. Right. Keep his laws. Okay, brother? Your God's chosen. All right, brother? Lord willing, this, this was good. All right, Lord willing. All right, brother. You take care, all right? God bless you. You're an Israelite. Right? Not Jamaican. Israel. Okay? Benjamin. Benjamin, not Jamaican. Benjamin. 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 All right, we got to wake up our people, man. By any means possible. Uh, right? The Water Brothers for helping out, right? This is your apartment. All right, let's bring this out, Matthew 15. Right? And let me get John chapter 5 and start at verse number uh, 4. John chapter 5 and verse number 4. Bring it out. John, five John chapter four. 5 verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water Step in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Right. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. And there was what? And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. Right. There was a man there. He had an infirmity for 38 years. Imagine you had an infirmity for 38 years. We don't know how long this brother's had this infirmity. Right. We don't know how long the brother's been dealing with that. Right. Yet, the spirit was compelling him to come. Hey, brother. Brother with the blunt in his mouth. With the cigar in his mouth. Hey, come chop it up with us real quick. Hey, we got, we got one question for you, brother. Real quick. We're not going to waste your time. Brother, we're not going to waste your time. 30 seconds. Brother, there's not going to be a next time. The word of the Lord is precious in the last days, brother. If you don't take heed right now, you might not make it to next time. You might not make it to, to tomorrow. Right? Our people boast uh, of the future, right? So let, let's bring this out. Verse 6. When Yahweh saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in. A, a long time in, right? 38 years with an infirmity, right? right? How patient are you going to be on the Lord? Right. How patient are you going to be to to receive the prayers that you've been throwing up for the past damn three months? How patient are you going to be to receive the blessings that the Lord has in store for us, the promises, the glory, right? All of these things you gotta be patient for, right? 
Brother, brother, what's your nationality, King? We're the Israelites, brother. You didn't really talk to us if you don't know your nationality, right? right? You didn't really talk to us if you don't know your nationality, right? Keep, keep reading on this. In that case, he said unto him, wilt thou, he, wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while, while I am coming, another step is down before me. Right, bring this out, Matthew 15. Look at Matthew 15 and 30. No. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Yahabashah's feet, and he healed them. And then so much that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. And they what? And they glorified the God of Israel. What are we doing? And they glorified the God of Israel. Then Yahweh called it unto his disciples, unto him, and said, I have compassion on the multitude. I have what? I have compassion on the multitude. What the Lord said? I have compassion on the multitude. The Lord has compassion on the multitude of our people. The Lord sees our people in pain. The Lord sees our people going through suffering. The Lord sees you on a day-to-day -day basis fighting off your flesh, fighting off envy, fighting off wrath, fighting off anger, right? Fighting off these things that our people are dealing with, and it's the reason why we're at the bottom of society and we continue to go through these curses, right? Keep reading. I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. Right, they continue with the Lord for three days and had nothing to eat, right? Three days, right? And then they were healed. A lot of brothers can't, can't wait five minutes for things. Right. And uh, I forgot what the saying is, but this is a microwave. Uh, everybody wants everything like a microwave. You just want it real quick, right? You don't really want to cook up, right? You can tell a, a brother slacking it with his hand, right? Throwing everything in a microwave, half, uh, half ASSing uh, the work of the Lord, right? All these things, these are bad spirits to have. Right, keep reading. And reads, I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. Lest they faint in the way. Right, let me get that in Proverbs 27 and verse 13. Right, because you, you can faint lest you believed in the Lord. You can faint and you can fall out of this truth if you don't truly have faith in the Most High, that he's going to come through. You've been uh, uh, tearing and toiling for three days straight, right, waiting on the Lord to heal you. Right? Dumb, maimed, blind, deaf, infirmities, right? Spirits, legions, right? Yet you're waiting on the Lord patiently, crying unto his name every single day, right. right? Beseeching the Heavenly Father for that mercy, for that grace, right? Who, who got that that I call? Look at Proverbs 27 and 13. Take his garment that is so shorty. For uh, Psalms 27. Psalms 27 and 13. It's a lot, dude. Psalms 27 and 13. Right. Bring it up. Look at Psalms. Psalms 27 and 13. Right, you could faint if you don't believe in the Lord. These men, they was literally, they, they had situations, right? Probably worse than yours, right? Praying unto the Lord, crying every single day. Yet they had the patience, they had enough patience to wait. Right? Keep reading on this. Psalms 27 and 13. Yeah. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord right. in the land of the living. In the what? In the, in the land, land of the, the living. living. Right? It's hard to do that in the land of the living. Right. It's hard to see that there that there's hope and that there's promises laid out for us past this kingdom. Right. It's hard for brothers to see that. To see afar off, right? There's much glory through the tribulation that you're going through. There's much glory through this tribulation, right? Keep reading. I have fainted, it's like you, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. And he shall what? And he, he shall, shall strengthen, strengthen thine heart. heart. Right, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and then he's gonna strengthen your heart, right? right? He's gonna give you the strength, right? Where do you think your strength comes from? You think you just will through everything, right? You don't know nothing except for what you ought to know, right? 
Keep reading on that. 28 and verse 1. Psalms 28 and verse 1. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Right. Be not silent to me. Be not what? Be, be not, not silent, silent to me. me. Read. Lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down in the pit. Right. If you be, if the Lord was silent unto us. How you doing, brother? Stop for one Bible scripture, brother. Right. One Bible scripture for the Most High. Right. Let's get that in Psalms chapter 69 and verse number three. Psalm 69 and verse three, right? You gotta be crying unto the Lord so much in the point to the point where you're literally, your mouth is, and your throat is dried up, right? While you wait for your God, right? Bring this out. Psalm 69 and three. Bring it out. I am wary of my crying. I am what? I am wary of my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail. While I wait for my God. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Right? You got to be literally crying unto the Lord to the point where your throat dried up. Right? right? Your throat dried up. He done, he done did what else was did. Right? You might have got, uh, fell down on, on your hands and knees, fell on your face. Right? Yeah, how was shy going in, uh, into solitary places to pray? Falling on his face and, and crying unto the Lord. Right? These are the things we have to do. All right? Let's get that in First Ezra chapter 8. Right, first Ezra chapter eight and verse number uh, seventy-one. All right, first Ezra chapter eight, verse seventy-one. First Ezra chapter eight and verse seventy-one. Bring it out. And as soon as I had heard these things, I rent my clothes and the holy garment, and pulled off the hair from off my head. And did what? And pulled off the hair from off my head. Right. And beard, and set me down sad and very heavy. So all they that were then moved at the word of the Lord God of Israel assembled unto me, whilst I mourned for the iniquity, but I say still full of heaviness unto the evening sacrifice. Right, while they mourned for the iniquity. It wasn't just in mourning for no reason, right? You might be mourning over something that happened at work, over a, a, a something small, right? Our forefathers, they used to mourn over the iniquity of our people, right? right? That's what we got to mourn for. Right? We gotta mourn for the iniquity of our people. We're not out here just crying and, and being bitter for nothing. Right? We're weeping because of the uh, the foolishness of our people. Right? Let's get that in Sirach chapter 22. No, no. Verse number 11. Right? Sirach chapter 22 and verse 11. Right? And then after that, let me get Mark chapter 1 verse 15 as well. Right? Sorry, what? Chapter 22 and verse, verse 11. Break it out. <laughs> for the dead. For he has lost the light. And right. we, weep for the dead, for he had lost life, read. And weep for the fool, for he wanted understanding. And weep for the what? And weep, weep for, for the fool, fool for, for he, he wanted understanding. understanding. Right. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest. But the life of the fool. But the what? But, but the, the life, life of, of the, the fool. fool. What is our people? But, but the, the life, life of, of the, the fool. fool. Right. The life of a fool. Smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, getting drunk. Not teaching the young women and children, brother. You got a time. You got time for the Bible, brother. Right. Keep reading on this. But the life of the fool. The life of the fool, read. Is worse. Is worse than death. Is what? Is, is worse than death. death. What is smoking cigarettes? Is worse than death. What is smoking weed? Is worse than death. That is worse than death, man. The life of a fool. Right? We trying to turn our people from darkness unto light, man. From from wickedness unto righteousness. Right? right? Let's read this. The book of Mark, chapter 1 and 15. Break it out. And saying, the time is fulfilled. The what? The, the time, time is fulfilled. fulfilled. And the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Right. And with that, we want to give all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Mashiach, Wamalak, Yahweh Shah. Boom, Yahshua.